Hello, Chris Ward for OSP Worldwide. I'm with a very awesome piece of equipment here. This is a stereo two-way, mono three-way electronic crossover. It's our model X223. There's a lot to talk about on this crossover. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities for how it can be hooked up. Uh, in order to uh, illustrate all of the functionality, I'm gonna start with the back panel. So we're gonna spin it around and kind of give you an overview of what's going on on the back on the back panel. Now, if you look right off, you see two channels: channel one, channel two. Each of those two channels shows uh, an input and a low and a high output. So that would be used if you were going to be in stereo mode and you just want low frequency and high frequency to be separated in stereo mode. Now let's look right in the center. You, you determine whether the, the uh, crossover is set in stereo or mono mode right here. So if, if the button is out, it's in stereo mode. If it's in, it's in mono mode. Now the labeling on these jacks is, is very simple, uh, but it could be confusing uh, if you didn't know exactly how it was labeled. Across the top of each jack are the labels for stereo mode, and across the bottom of each jack is the input and output connectors when the crossover is used in mono mode. So let's talk about first stereo mode. That's the mode that we're in now. So we're gonna look at the labeling that's across the top. You see you've got an input on channel one, and then you've got low frequency output and high frequency output. So you would take your signal into the crossover and then out of the crossover to the amps that are driving your, your subs or your low frequency speakers and out of the high frequency uh, jack to the amps that are driving your horns. The same would go for channel two, exactly the same. Now, you will notice that you've got uh, one button here that allows you to convert times one or times 10. That will just allow you to fine tune the controls on the front panel. Uh, most people would prefer to have that uh, left on the times one, which is in the out uh, position. Now, if you set this in mono mode, I'm going to depress the button there. Uh, now we're going to look at, at all of the jacks as they're labeled across the bottom. Now you'll notice right here, we've still got input, but if you look over on channel two, it says not used. So uh, we're not going to use this jack at all when we're using it in three-way crossover mode. Now three-way crossover would be used if you want to separate low frequency, mid frequencies, and high frequencies. So we're going to come into here, then you see low frequency output is still going to come out of this jack, but this one is not going to be used, this one is not going to be used, but your mid frequencies will come out of this jack and go to the amplifiers driving your mid-range boxes, and your high frequencies will come out of this jack and go to the amplifiers driving your high frequency uh, components. Well, let's go back to the front panel and see what's happening here. You will notice as we as we push the stereo and mono button, it shows on the front panel which way the unit is configured, whether in stereo or mono. And then you have the same type of labeling where you have inputs, uh, low, uh, low frequency and high frequency outputs, and there's different rows of labels depending on, uh, depending on whether you're using the crossover in stereo mode or three-way mono mode. Overall, you've got a completely flexible crossover unit that's designed to hook up sound reinforcement systems uh, in situations where you want to buy amp or triamp your speaker boxes. We've got uh, uh, inputs and outputs that can be configured for either two-way or three-way uh, uh, situations. It's the OSP 
X223 crossover. The OSP X223 stereo two-way mono three-way crossover features a filter type of 18 dB per octave. The inputs and outputs are balanced or unbalanced quarter inch. The input impedance is 20 kilo ohms unbalanced and 40 kilo ohms balanced. Low cut filters at 40 hertz minus 3 dB, 18 dB per octave. Has a frequency response of 20 hertz to 25 kilohertz plus or minus 1 dB. Signal to noise ratio greater than 95 dB. It's the OSP X223 stereo two-way mono three-way electronic crossover.